very good afternoon and kudos to this channel. Uh, so obviously you already know my name. I'm Master Shantamani, your host. In this particular series of episodes, uh, I want to make it very clear to you, my buddies and my friends, that uh, as to uh, why, in fact, you know, I mean, there is a need for us, you know, or not uh, or for us, you know, but as an individual, or as a, rather as a citizen of this country, or rather as, even as a human being, to basically opt for HRP. And HRP is basically a term, you know, which means historical records preservation. Or you could even call it as preservation of historical records, or rather preservation of past historical records. But you know, but you can call it as HRP, as you know, but PHR, you know, uh, seems to be a little bit weird. So HRP, or rather, uh, so friends, you know, while you in fact you know, have to opt for HRP, now you can opt for HRP in any way, like the preservation of historical records, uh, can be basically you know, uh, can be basically you know, approached or rather can be in fact you know, attained in any way. For example, in, inside the house you live, you can basically involve you know, for preservation of the articles or rather the artifacts you know which belong to you, or rather something like this bag, or maybe something like that box, or maybe you know. But let me uh, just take you along and basically show you as to what are the artifacts or rather what are the articles which uh, you can obviously save and stuff. Like friends, can you see this particular stash of books? Uh, like basically, you know, this seems to be uh, this seems to be, and kind of an storage, you know, which was created over here, here for the purpose of, and his uh, for, for the purpose of creating an historical association dedicated to the BMS College of Engineering where I study. So friends, you know, the majority of all these books and majority of all these artifacts, basically, you know, seem to be. Uh, Seem to be the artifacts, or rather the documentation, you know, which belongs to, be, belong, which dates back to 1980s, or rather 1990s as well. And also, you know, that's uh, to go on videotape over there is simply, you know, not under the general public license. So, which is why, you know, all of those documents, you know, can never be brought into a public domain, you know, because we have some certain copyright issues. But uh, certainly, you know, what you can, uh, what you can feel, what. what what I can assert is that, for instance, you know, even that, I mean, basically, I don't mean to say that that particular table is, is a historical association, but for instance, you know, this entire house, where we live, you know, this two-rooming house, you know, which starts from there, and which basically you know, extends to that far corner, uh, basically uh, serve to be a kind of a repository, repository for storing some kind of historical articles. And it was that particular repository which uh, was utilized, uh, which was utilized by us, you know, in major contexts. So in this particular episode, friends, I just need to bring it up in front of you that uh, as to how can you, as an individual, you know, create something, you know, which is, uh, you know, which basically, you know, can impact uh, something large, you know. Like I'm not talking about impacting the world or something. And what I'm in fact saying is that, you know, for example, you know, if you happen to be a vintage enthusiast or rather an uh, artifacts hunter or maybe a preservationist or maybe an, a kind of an historiographer or historian, or <coughs> you can definitely, you know, start by organizing things, you know, which uh, organizing things uh, following an order of the chronology, you know, for you to, in fact, you know, First, you know, start collecting records and collecting equipments, number you know, which date to uh, past times, and that is basically HRP, or rather PHR, preservation of historical records, and which is an essential foundation for the for the establishment of an historical association. Have a good day.